my mic a little bit. I don't know if my mouse is... Actually, uh, we're going to give it a shot and see if we're doing better now. I haven't really had an issue with my mouse, but it responding less ideally is not ideal. I can, uh, I think the world is safer now. Level up my guy. Let's give an onslaught. Seems good. I'll have to see. Um, moving my mouse feels better. I just... Well... I'm not <laughs> entirely sure if I agree with what I just said. It, it feels slow. Hold on. Let me... I'm going to have to do some... Oh, well, that's curious. Uh... Let me fix something. I have to fix something. There's a thing I have to fix, so I'm going to fix something. I think, uh... It, it feels like... My mouse isn't moving quite right, um, which is terrible and a shame, but hopefully it's not the end of the world. Um, maybe I'll just have to see about replacing it in the near future, I don't know. It's wild to think about how much trouble I was having earlier because I had no damage compared to now. Devour. That's cool, but I'm not going to do it. I did want to put that on. Bone prison. Well, I'm not using those, so... Is there... Um, or decay for 100% damage is just poison. Or loop. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's actually get back to the appropriate uh, arrangement of powers here. Um, However, I'm less concerned with these ones being in any... Actually, yeah, I want I want my Corpse Lance to be on, on the one. Trading Splinters. Skeleton. Can be over here. There we go. Yeah, my mouse is... <sighs> not operating as it is supposed to. Um, that sucks. But it's still working to some degree, so could be worse. Okay, so instead of blasting guys, they just do an area effect with this power. I don't think I'll use that one. I don't like uh, 
area effects are good, but I'd rather them just kind of uh, blast dudes. I think they'll be more useful actually having a targeted attack. And maybe after this rift, I'll actually see about raising difficulty another level, because... I don't know, maybe it's just this uh, weapon giving me crazy damage, but it feels like I'm outclassing these enemies pretty significantly still. belt um not really substantial i wonder if four will start with uh stuff that three got over its lifespan like adventure mode and seasons and stuff like that like almost certainly it would start with seasons like i can't imagine they would uh not have uh, a seasonal thing right out the gate because they have uh, clearly uh, realized how much they like having seasons in their games um, in in this sense like arena seasons and stuff like that in Warcraft are a little bit different I would say but um, seasons in the, the context of like Something that feels more like a battle pass is something that they clearly like having. Um, it's even if they're not all... Oh, cool. One, uh, thanks. Even if, um, they, the, uh, what do they call The, uh, trading post in World of Warcraft? Even if that's not seen as being a battle pass exactly uh it's still very much like one if nothing else so with that and the way that they've been running seasons with diablo 3 and stuff like that i i, I imagine that uh four will have them pretty early on if not immediately uh, they, they might save it and um have it be something that kicks off after people have had some time to play the game, but I think it'll be pretty quick at least. Those guys were no... They, they were nothing. They were just gone immediately. Uh, more new gloves. Get them magic gloves. The main problem I have with these rifts is that they feel so slow. Like, it, it's something you jump into and then you're just in it for, like, a half hour or something. <laughs> Which, like, it, it's, it's good that it has content that takes a while, but when it's just, like, a... The amount of... For the amount of time it takes, it doesn't feel like you're doing it which is less ideal as a game mechanic. New Scythe. It's going to be good. Could it possibly... Well, it's yellow, so it wouldn't outclass what I already have. Uh, even if it was, like, a good, like, overleveled yellow compared to the legendary I have. 
Legend I have is just too too strong of an effect to to give up. Um, so I got new golem. And further down we go. You know, I kind of prefer this, uh atmosphere to where I was just at. Never enjoyed the cave maps in Diablo 3. I am I'm kind of particular about the kinds of maps I enjoy in games and stuff, but like certain uh, environments are just more enjoyable. Oh man. Wait, uh, oh, never mind. I see. Right. So I, I, I thought I was in a different map set. I thought I was in the, um, the stuff from Bastion Keep, but no, I'm in the, like, the Chaldeum Sewers. I need to stop going this way. There was a guy over here. And I can completely cheese the enemies by killing them from here. Absolute cheese. Oh, there's still one up on the boat. Oh, you know what? I might not even need those guys. What's he gonna do? Not much, I'll tell you that. What's this? So, uh, I got some gear that is going to be upgrades. It's going to take a while for me to replace this. Um, just, it's too good. Um, okay, so this is bone armor. Does damage to enemies, so sure, I, I'll keep it. Um, I'll do frenzy. And let's trade out our mages for skeleton archers. Uh, okay. I think I'm done here. I don't think I'm gonna do a super long stream tonight. I think, uh... We'll, we'll see how far we go. Um, but... Uh, increase the attack speed, that would be good. Essence cost command skeletons and the cooldown effect. I don't care about the cooldown and stuff, so. Increase my attack speed, more damage. Always good. Um. Let's stow some gems and break down some items.
Uh, and then I got I got money, so I can upgrade you. And this guy's level twenty, so I can Let's see. Um. We'll give him Guardian. I want to make him just an absolute tank. Why is this guy pulsing? Why can't he just be a big dude? Honestly, if I could have a skeleton golem, that would be even cooler. That would be more to my preference. I'm not super big on the flesh golem situation. Oh, there is a bone golem one. A tornado of bone. Wild. Scovos is a dangerous land. Ah, uh, right. So what's the last thing? Reach level 50? So, to reach level 50, we're just gonna have to do some, uh, do some things. We're gonna have to kill some dudes. Oh yeah, actually, I was saying I might increase my... Maybe I'll hold off on it for a minute. Hmm. These guys are doing some big numbers. So, maybe... Maybe I'm still good where I'm at. Corpse Lance can do Brittle Touch now. So, increase crit, uh, 5% or slow just damage. Let's increase the chance to crit enemies. Because slow doesn't really matter. That's inconsequential. No. Uh, new bracers, though. Excellent. Does he? Oh, he needs strength, so me handing off a bunch of imp here isn't uh, gonna be great for him in the long run, but it's probably fine. I feel like this game keeps getting louder. What's it even doing? Last few fights have been super loud, so let's... Because I know Belial's gonna be loud as hell, too. This will go a lot faster than last time. <laughs> so I got the scythe from Belial, right? Kind of the source of all my power now. I will not be another blah 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 blah. Those you know, spikes really some very sudden damage to him.
got me. That, that did some damage. <laughs> Very suddenly. Oh no. Ow! I got. He got me. That was. That was unfortunate. Um. That's interesting. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, I might do that. God, my mouse is wasn't giving me this much trouble earlier. I wonder if it's a Diablo issue. Um, I want to have Army of the Dead. That sounds fun. Um, you know, so maybe, maybe this time we don't stand in all the bad stuff. Let's check that out. That's cool. So if it if it's from my skeletons, do they just come back as skeletons for a second round? Is that what happens? That's a strong ability. I wish I didn't use that already. <laughs> ah, immediately with the big hit. I need to heal badly. Move, 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 run, run, run. Yeah, I really wish I saved that uh, one big move. Thematically, I think Belial's really cool, just because, like, the... Basically, suggesting that nothing about that fight was actually real, except, uh, like, the initial part, maybe? And even that, like, who knows? If that could have been him, uh, falsifying that whole situation as well. Um... We can't use those, but give me your new gloves, give me your new boots, give me your chest piece. Uh, axe would be doing less. Yeah, I think uh, that's good. And I've got a slot on the black doing. It's a talisman now, so. 
I could use that uh, as well, uh, putting a gem in that. I don't think I'm... Uh, actually, what do I have? For now, at least, I could throw in a... Uh... See, that counts as a weapon, so I need... I want damage. Oh, hold on. That doesn't count as a weapon. That counts as other. That's stupid. It's in a weapon slot. It should count as a weapon. I was expecting it to. And now I just have pointless strength. Why do I have so much strength? This surely... Yeah, where is all this strength coming from? I've got a ring that's giving me strength. I've got the helm that's giving me strength. That's giving me strength. Yeah. Oh, nerd. Um. Let me just go to the camp anyway. Um, go to the camp and then see if I can throw an appropriate gem to this. Now that I know it counts as a weapon, I might as well just do, uh... Or, now that I know it doesn't count as a weapon, I, I can just throw a purple gem in there. Uh, and to that end, I might as well... ...grab some gems to upgrade. Purple. Give me a square. And... remove... God, did I? I did the vitality. I'm stupid. Why did I think I needed purple? <coughs> Everything is a struggle. Uh. It's all suffering and agony. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's it take for this guy? Okay, so once I got some money, I can do this properly. And I... God, my mouse is... Oh, uh, it's just suffering what it's doing to me right now. You know what? Maybe it is an issue with how oh, can let me step away real quick and see if I can get any more of my thing. Maybe my efforts to clean the mouse just haven't been sufficient. So let's see if I can clean it better real quick. Oh my goodness, did that do it tonight? Is is that the issue? It was just not properly cleaning? That might have that might have done it. Okay. Is it the way it was moving, it did feel like a um issue with it not being clean, and now it feels like it might be working properly. Alright. Um, nope, hope, why did you walk down there? That's not even remotely close to where I was clicking. Okay, so, um, almost certainly not going to get to 50 tonight, because I think I might go for another 20 minutes, and I don't think that's going to be enough time to get there. But, um... Yeah, slightly less damage, but we're going to go with it, because I can socket gems into it later. I... So I've got a tabletop campaign setting called Dominion, which takes a lot of inspiration from... Diablo, uh, kind of first and foremost, but 
other other kind of like dark fantasy stuff as well. And I initially made the setting to be sort of an easy setting to just <clears throat> drop into without needing a ton of prep in advance, you know, it would be a very simple campaign, kind of a dungeon delve type situation, uh, as opposed to the big open sandboxes that I normally do. Um, but, you know, I kind of feel like I want to do... I've historically not been a fan of the idea of, um, like, mega dungeons, stuff like that. But, uh, I would be tempted to try, I'm going to go with the extended duration, uh, I, I'd be tempted to do more, uh, do, do a more, um, like, gritty and, um, and, and simple campaign in the future. It's not something that, uh, works for everyone but i think it would be an interesting challenge to try to make that kind of a campaign that i would enjoy running what's this arrow about You know, now that I'm seeing uh, these powers I'm using and I have this big ice golem and stuff, maybe I will go the classic, uh, like, for, for a thematic build here, maybe I'll go with, like, the classic uh, Warcraft Death Knight, uh, you know, kind of an Arthas icy situation for my Necromancer. Do all the ice-themed uh, variants and stuff. That might be fun. I don't like the look of that. It's interesting that I, even with this blood drain ability, I can still get an ice variant of the attack. <laughs> I have always hated the bugs in this desert. Like, they're such an annoying enemy to fight. We're just gonna walk away from that. I don't care about that enemy. <laughs> There's just a single enemy that spawned. Oh, maybe it's a couple enemies. A couple of these little imps. I don't care about the shield, but you know what? He needs a new shield. And uh, I'm probably not going to get a ton of shield drops because I don't think uh, Necromancer can use shields. Speak of the devil, just got a shield drop. <laughs> uh, let's obliterate this guy. With the most excessive use of force I can muster as a Necromancer. Oh, I do not want this guy to get away. Give me your loot. I need gold for my gems. There we go. Now everyone else can suffer. A lot of strong enemies right now. <laughs> I think we pulled like two or three different elite packs. And there it is. Now, 
<clears throat> got a bunch of loot out of that, so let's give you a new dagger because ah, good. it's good for you. Got a new shield. Ah. Apparently I can use shields, but um don't do me much good. Ah, good. Uh new pants comes with a gem a gem slot. And a new scythe that is truly pathetic. Uh, ten levels higher does less damage. Um, it has a socket, but doesn't have the legendary effect. Absolutely not going to change that. Did I... Gone spikes. Are these guys... Part of that pack that we just killed? I think they were. Um, new hat. Uh, so, the crown gives me an increased effect of the gem socketed, but I don't know if that works with experience. Maybe it does, in which case, I don't think I care about the damage increase. Um, maybe I'll give it a quick look real quick, uh, and see if, uh, okay, yeah, so I'm going to keep the crown because it gives me that X that increased XP boost, uh, which is going to help me level faster. Um, the damage increase doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, it does, but it, it it's not significant enough to matter. I want the XP boost most of all, because getting to level 70 in the season is important. The faster I can do it, the better. And, you know, if we can, uh, get there quickly on this character, then, um, that's pretty good. And, uh, not only is the crown good for that, but that, uh... The ability I have that maintains the pools of reflection is also going to help a lot with leveling quickly. Yeah, these these bugs that shoot out the um, the little enemy darts those are annoying to fight. I don't like them. I truly hate the lasers. They're so annoying because I have to keep moving and they cover such a big area. And they specifically uh, target me with them instead of my minions. If it was targeting my minions, it wouldn't be such a big deal because I could stay back and be fine. But since it targets me, which, you know, it kind of makes sense gameplay-wise, that it would focus me. Um, means that I have to uh, keep moving. Yeah, 
shield might be an upgrade. It's not. So, um, I just need to get to level 2 and then kill all the enemies there. So, what I might do is just run past everyone to get to level 2. Honestly, I don't know if uh, bypassing dungeons, like enemies in dungeons, is uh, the best for leveling expediently. I don't know if it's more important to complete the objectives or what, but... We're gonna do it anyway. I need to remember to summon my archers, because I keep forgetting about them, but I can do that pretty... Like, I, I don't have to even think about it. It's not, like, a cost to me, really, even. See if I can complete a cursed chest this time. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to do it, but. Trying. Ah, it was so close. If it weren't for this other pack of elites, that's always the way it goes in this game, though. There's just always another pack of elites that are the worst problem. In this case, they were a problem because they were getting in the way of my attacks. And unfortunately, I couldn't use my army of the dead because I used it on the uh, enemy that brought me here. One of these days, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll actually be able to complete a cursed chest. That'd be a heck of a thing, huh? Yeah, it feels like I've I've hit um, a new level of scaling enemies, but I think enemies just scale to uh, difficulty level, not uh, not your level. Like I don't think my actual character level matters, so I don't know why the enemies would have would be any tougher. Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we'll do that. That gives him some more toughness, so we'll give him that. We'll give him the hood. I am keeping the crown. Take the boots. Give him my boots for more survivability. That's for the scoundrel. Put this on. Give him the hand-me-down. That's a ton of recovery off of what he would have. That life per hit. It's good for him. Um, you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on that one because I think... Let me just give that to him for now. Uh, I think I might uh, be able to make the chest piece I have better by putting some gems into it. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, lock that decision in, give him the one that I 
would have taken. So I need the topaz. Purple gems are really goddamn pointless. Um, let's go ahead and move the gem from this. Let's. I could try to increase. I don't think I'm gonna have. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough, so I'm not gonna worry about those just yet. Let's do square topaz. Let's make these real quick. Probably make another square topaz. Then I could make a flawless square. Throw that into my web. Oh, ah, yeah. I guess we're gonna go with it. It, it would probably be better if I had just stacked the gems that I had. But let's, because we got some money, so let's go ahead and uh, do this up. Let's see, is there anything useful I can put into the list? I could throw diamonds in for resistance to elements. That's about it. And, you know, at this point I might as well, because then I at least have some benefit to the sockets for now, and I can always just take them out later. Um, let's see if we can just finish the Act 2 bounties real quick. We'll, we'll do one more and then we'll see if it seems like we have enough time. Who's this guy and why is he hanging out? They even the adventure. He's gonna turn on me or something. So. <laughs> I feel like that's a reasonable assumption in Diablo. Some say they are part man and part wolf, but I have not been able to confirm my own thoughts. Whatever their origin, the destruction they lead in their wake suggests that we are right. I think I'm going to have to uh, upgrade my weapon sooner or later, because I think I'm starting to feel the detriment of uh, not uh, of not upgrading. I feel like it's not keeping up. That tore them apart super quickly. And they're mine now. Every egg is guarded with vigilance. And the hunters will frequently circle overhead to keep watch on their nests. Those who intrude upon them are most unwise. I build up essence super quickly, so there is absolutely no reason not to just uh, blow all of my summons at any given point. I can just throw out a bunch of skeletons and I'll be fine. Yeah, look at that. Level gains. Level up. Goes so quickly. Go ahead and just might as well pull this. Um, My insight grows. Shoot, so this is almost double damage. Plus, it's got an enchant for more damage. So, Let's see. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I think that's gonna be. For the best in the long run. I don't I don't think the uh weapon I had I was keeping up. Army of the Dead's got a new thing. 
Personal army. That sounds good. Singularity. Assume all essence summon a powerful minion. So this guy gets three percent times two hundred and four. Is that accurate? Basically gets uh what like six hundred percent damage increase. I mean we're gonna try it. Uh I feel like it might be worth it. Increase my essence, because that'll make him even better. Army of the Dead will give them skeletal hands raised from the ground damaging enemies. 15 yards for blah 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 blah. 12,000 physical 15 yards. 14,000 poison. 15. We'll do that. And it lasts for five seconds, so that might be a good... We'll see once, uh... Once we get there and try it out. Try it out now. Let's hit these guys with the poison. That was that took him out pretty quick, but I feel like the other one would take him out pretty quick anyway as well. Let's get the uh, get the beefy mage, and immediately there's no enemies left. Um, you know what? More damage increase. Let's give him damage increase. Give you a ring. Ah, good. We liked it, so we put a ring on it. Um. Yeah, I, I suppose enemies probably do scale to your level to some degree. I think that would make sense, because otherwise you would immediately outclass everything. This guy is pretty cool. This uh, mage summon. It's pretty beefy. And being able to just cast it once and call it good, that's that's pretty nice. I can actually summon uh, more than one. Um, they don't stick around for long, but. I, I gain um, power quickly enough that I can actually summon to like max power ones pretty quickly, potentially. So this guy's basically a, a buff I have to keep putting up every few seconds, but he's a good, good buff. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> getting to this uh, objective took a while, so we're not actually going to do the other one. Um, we're just going to finish out this one real quick, and then I think we'll call the stream there. Have I really been streaming for two hours already? It's wild.
kind of conflicted because I feel like my, my my damage is factually so much hot, yeah, so much higher. Someone's on that hill. But it doesn't fully feel like it. Is that a flayed person? Ooh. Gross. Disgusting. Um. Alright, so we're gonna just check this out real quick. Uh. I can give Dark Mending increase my own survivability, but I think the damage output is something I prefer. Um. Again, I let's see. Uh, eh, fearing enemies. I don't think I care about that. I don't really like that. Dark reaping gives me a buff if I'm using a scythe, which I always am. But let's see, did I get any other gear either? Um, just a cloak. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's, uh, maybe we'll just go for another half hour and see where... We're, we're gonna go after this last objective, and if that takes us within the area of the half hour, that's fine. Uh, shield for my boy. A ring for me. And a ring for the gentleman. I may have gone the wrong way, because I don't think this loops around. I could be wrong about it. Yeah, I think I need to be back up here. So I think I need to go north from there. So we'll go up this way. Cause yeah, I think this goes into the into a town. Like the ruins of a town. Where uh Magda's crew are just wrecking everything. Yeah, I went the wrong way before. I do it every time I come here too. So one downside of not using that legendary scythe anymore is that um, my attack isn't being split again across multiple people. It's just a single target thing again, which is a shame because as a multi-target, it was super good. Let my boys take care of this while I'm freeing a person. Um, shoot, more damage? Don't mind if I do. Ah, good. Also, I, I always do prefer swords. Uh, 
I'm just more of a sword fan. Gentlemen, take care of these interlopers. Okay, so this wasn't the town I thought it was. Um, but it, <laughs> I did have to access it in the way that I thought I did. Decay and rot. What is this dude doing? Be careful. This ship is cursed by demon. It should be safe as long as we don't disturb it. Oh wow. Um <laughs> It's unfortunate for that guy. Well, anyway. So that one actually went a lot faster than the one before it, so uh, it didn't take as long as I thought it might. I think we... Big boost experience. Um... And a pile of treasure. What is this? An axe? Can I use an axe? I was just using an axe. What am I talking about? Of course I can. Um, yeah, man, the weapon drops have just been wild. Well, I'll just do some in-town stuff real quick. Um... Let's pull gems from here. Um, we'll actually throw our junk topaz in there. Junk topaz, it's, it's just a slightly weaker one. Um, gonna remove that. We can get the flawless square in there, which means more XP, big boost. Um, it's at 25 up from 20 plus the 76% increase uh, of that 25 presumably so that's that's a pretty good boost um yeah. if I well he doesn't have a helmet slot but if I gave him a helmet uh XP boost gem would that boost me as well also I wanted to see. I don't remember how the thing works, but they've got the, um... Oh, maybe I don't have the thing. Um... Did they get rid of Kanai's cube? Isn't that something you normally have in this mode? Yes, I live once. An artifact lies in the ruins of Sejero. I think you will have a better chance of impressing. Okay, so I probably have to go and do that thing actually get 
on Ice Cube. It'd be interesting if it actually gave me a quest for it, though. Um, well... Because I... I don't remember exactly how Cube works, but I think you can, um... Potentially, yeah, you can destroy legendaries to pull their power, and I wanted to see if this was one I could do that with, because if this was something that I could... Uh... Extract, I think that would be very useful for uh, getting that ability at higher level. Can I make... I, I can't make any legendary sites. So, yeah. On the off chance that I might be able to do that, I'm just going to stow this for now. Whoops. I'm actually going to do these on different pages. Keep my gems in one spot. Keep my other junk in other spots. Um... These guys need Death's Breath. But this one I can just... I can just upgrade. Get her capped out. Uh, I think Gems requires Death's Breaths too. So, uh, nothing to be done there. Just for fun. Let's see if we can do any cool transmogs. Kind of prefer just the hood. And... Let's see. The Sovereign is, I think, the, like, iconic stuff that they they have in all the artwork but we're gonna we're just gonna go with uh real real basic looking gear i mean it doesn't look basic honestly but technically is Yeah, we're gonna keep what we got there. I do like the armor, gauntlets, and boots. I will go with that one as well. Maybe take the same ones here. Unless, no, I like that. And then for the pants. We'll just go with that one. It's absolutely not worth the money to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm just gonna have everything in black. Um, you know what? I don't like how these gloves are actually turned out with this stuff. Let's go with these ones. And then just make sure the color is there. Yep, yeah, that's what we'll go with. All right, well, I think that'll be it. Go ahead and end it there. Let's see. Eh, yeah. I just need to level to 50 for Chapter 1. I could probably do this pretty quickly. Uh, getting these guys level 12, I'm going to need a higher difficulty for that. Okay, yeah, so Kanai's Cube is still there. I just have to go to the place to get it. Um, 
Let me try up a 70. Once I'm 60, I have to do these. Bosses. Crafting level 70, ringer amulet will be easy. Placing a property. I could even do that now. It's just actually... If I've got a moment... Is there anything with a property that I would be down to... You know what? This has thorns. Let's just replace that. Uh, extra gold. Sure, why not? And that gets me... Another step through Chapter 2. Can I already make any level 70 stuff, or do I have to have him at the next... Yeah, I can't do it yet. Uh, chapter 3, I've already got some stuff done, because I got Master on the Nephilim Rift. Let's go spend... No, that's not Kadala. Kadala is... Here. Hello there. Um, you want to give me a, a ring? Why about you give me a ring? I was kind of hoping for a yellow, but uh, we'll take it. Nope, 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 not there. Um, that looks like a good ring on you. Let's see. Level 70 bosses. Pack three, four, and five bounty caches, which would be easy enough. Extracting a power of Kana's cube, which I'll need to get that first. Forge a weapon property to a socket at the Mystic. Oh, actually, if I could give this a socket and increase its damage further, I mean, I absolutely don't need to be investing in stuff at this low level. But, um... Yeah, let's see if I can turn this into a socket. No, but it got better. I just want you to give me a socket. I'm spending all my money on this. Alright. Okay, so I didn't manage to get that. Um, that'll have to be something I get later on when I have way more gold. Do I have to go... I just have to complete Chapter 4 to get the armor. Which is the big goal. The armor and the wings and stuff. Like, that's the cool stuff. Uh, which seems to be... Before you get to, like, these tiers. These just give you portrait frames, it looks like. And gives you stash space. That's cool. Oh, and this one gets you the pet. Which, I'm not super big on this pet. But it is kind of cool it's like a dragon angel situation but yeah not super invested but maybe we'll get there but that's gonna be it for this stream uh everybody who's been watching along anybody lurking or checking out the vod after the fact thank you guys for coming along appreciate you each and everyone and i look forward to seeing you again next time have a good one